All right, today we gotta do some maintenance stuff. So what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's gonna be a nice, quick, easy, just maintenance video. All we're gonna do is change the transmission and front center diff fluid and we're gonna change the rear diff fluid. Super simple. I'll show you guys everything I got to do the job first and then we'll just dive straight into it and I'll show you guys the easiest way to do this. First things first, if you guys are doing transmission and diff you're gonna need about four and a half liters for the transmission and a one liter jug for the rear diff so i got six liters here and the fluid i'm using is motul 7590 i've seen good reviews about this stuff i've actually never changed the transmission or diff fluid in this car since i bought it and i think if i remember correctly in the service records from the previous owner he changed it at about 96,000 kilometers and the car is at like 201,000 kilometers now. I know that's gonna blow a lot of people's minds that this thing's at 200,000 K and now I got it looking this clean, but it took a lot of work. If you guys have seen the channel, you would know. So yeah, let's just dive straight into this. We'll hop under the car. I'll tell you guys all the tools and stuff you need as we go. I'm not gonna lay it all out at the start of the video. Like most people do on YouTube, I'll just tell you as we go. But there is one thing that I wanna show you before we start. And these are my three methods right here that I'm gonna try. So this right here is a fluid suction pump. You've Basically, stick this in the jug, pull that lever, it'll suck fluid in, stick it in the transmission, push the lever in, and it will push the fluid back out into the transmission. This is guaranteed to work, but it's gonna take a long ass time to get it done. Second method is this little device here that a buddy at work built. Basically how it works is this is gonna go in the jug, it's gonna thread onto the jug. You gotta drill a small hole in the plug, and then you're gonna get an air line from your air compressor, and you're gonna open this valve up, and then you're gonna blow air into the jug, and it's gonna force the fluid in through this hole on the bottom and right out the top. That way you could drain a one liter jug pretty fast. Third method I'm gonna try is just gonna be the jug. These Motul jugs have this nice little bendy piece on the end. So I think I might be able to put it in the transmission and then flip it up and see if I can get the gear oil in just with this. If not, and it starts making a mess, we're just gonna switch over to probably the pressure method because it's faster. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna go with the good old pump and suck. Oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. All right, first things first, before you drain any fluid, make sure you get your fill plug cracked first. I'm sure every single person on YouTube says that. But if you get your drain plugs out and you can't get your fill plug out, you're kind of screwed. Make sure you take your fill plug out first. I'm a hypocrite. I already drained the tranny fluid when I pulled my transmission. I didn't take the fill plug out, so let's uh, pray that comes out. One little tip that I'm gonna give you guys here, when you take these off, this sounds stupid, and this is one jank ass hammer, but take a ball peen hammer and whack the plugs before you take them out. It sounds dumb, but the washers behind them are crush washers, so when you hit them and there's an impact, it's gonna squish the crush washer a little bit and you'll be able to take those off 10 times easier. I'll try and give a little example here. So here's with a 10 mil socket and a 3 8 ratchet. Super hard to bust off, right? Nice and tight. I gave it a couple tugs there. Now we're gonna hit it with the hammer. Now we're gonna take our 3 8 ratchet again. Try and crack it. See how much easier it is. Oh, super easy. I only gave it like two tugs that time. It came right off. So now you're just gonna thread that fill plug out. If yours is full, you might have a little bit of fluid come out there. I drained my transmission fluid, so I shouldn't have anything. And you can set your fill plug to the side now. To take the fill plug out first, it also lets you drain the fluid faster because you'll have air coming in, pushing the fluid out. So now, I'm gonna take this drain out. I already drained it. It's gonna be loose. Oh, maybe I tightened it. I can't remember. It'll just karate chop it, see if it comes off. Yeah, there we go. That one wasn't very tight because I already drained it, but I'm probably gonna get a little bit of fluid coming out. So we're gonna have the drain pen here ready just in case. If you guys haven't drained this already, you're gonna have fluid come out like crazy. I have quite a bit in there actually. It must have leaked over from the diff into the tranny when I was swinging my transmission around when I had it out of the car. So while that one's leaking out, I'm gonna get the plug hold for the center diff. This one, I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to hit it with a hammer much because there's not much room here and I kind of got fluid on my fingers, but we're gonna try. Just ignore the uh, drizzly noise from that while I have <laughs> what the, drizzly, who says that? I need a rig. Now this is the tool that probably not that many people are gonna have. It is a T70 Torx socket that is gonna fit for the center diff drain. I believe this one is torqued a lot tighter than the transmission ones. So let's pray we can yank this off. I'm on a creeper. Hopefully my creeper doesn't roll away on me. Oh my God. Two in a row. Oh, this GoPro's really in the way. Okay, let's give her a good yank. What was that? Oh, that was my rim. Oh no. Yeah. Well, if you guys heard that noise, my rim just fell right on the face of it. And look at the marks I just left. Fresh powder coat job too. Looks like we're gonna need to get these repowder coated. That sucks. Okay, this is gonna come out now. Let's go. Three, two, one. 
Holy shit. All right, that's how you want to be. We're going to do this the redneck way. I'll try this at home. Holy, that loosened her up a bit. Oh, wow. Breaker bar it is. I don't have a breaker bar. We're going to hit this a couple more times, praying that it loosens up. Oh, come on, baby. Hey, the hammer worked, baby. Let's go. Just had to give it a good couple whacks. It came right off. I'm ready for this to piss absolutely everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I just hit my head on the controller. Don't land on me. Don't spray on me. Don't squirt on me. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and easy. It was almost empty anyways. Okay, let's let that drain for a bit. One thing I will mention real quick, when you take the drain plug off of that front diff or center diff, I guess, there's gonna be a bunch of metal shavings on it because it's a magnetic plug. Don't worry about that and think that, oh shit, my transmission blew up. There's metal shavings everywhere. It's not like an engine. There's a certain clearance between the gears or backlash, I guess you could call it in technical terms. And that backlash is gonna cause the gears to wear a little bit. It's perfectly normal to have metal shavings on this drain plug. But before you put it back in, make sure you clean all of them off. Just wipe it all off with a rag. Get a can of brake clean, spray it off. Make sure it's nice and clean when you put it back in. All right, now once you got your magnetic plug cleaned up and it's completely done draining, you're gonna put a new crush washer. I'm using the OEM Subaru ones. I'm sure you guys could use any copper crush washer. And you're gonna thread her back into the hole. Now the torque spec for the front diff drain plug is 51.6 foot pounds, but 51.6 foot pounds is 52. So we're doing 52 foot pounds. And I got this big ass half inch torque wrench because I left my three eighths one at work. So this is all I got here. That feels like nothing with a half inch. That was 52, right? Yeah, 52. Okay, that one's torqued up. Now again, clean your drain plug for the transmission drain. I just sprayed it with some brake clean, wiped it with a rag. Get a new drain plug washer on there or gasket, whatever you want to call it. And thread that one all the way in by hand. Now we are going to tighten the transmission drain with 10 mil Allen key to the spec is 32.5 foot pounds, but we're gonna do 33. Click. Done. Now that we got those torqued up, I'm not gonna wash them off yet, I'll wash them off after. We're gonna try our first method of filling this, which is gonna be straight up with the jug. We're gonna put it in there and just lift it up and see if it'll drain in there as much as we can at least. Seems like it's pretty slow, but it seems like it's getting in there. Oh yeah, squeeze. Well, that seems like that got all of it. We don't even need a transfer pump or anything. These Motul bottles are dope. I don't know if your guys' bottles are like this too. Oh, there's still a little bit inside. We might have to top it up a little bit after. Or I'll probably just fill it with all these because I got six of them and then I'll dump the excess all into one jug. Let's just time lapse through me filling this because this is going to take forever. All you got to do is fill it till the fluid starts coming out of the top plug. All right, there we go. Transmission and front diff fluid is changed. Again, do 33 foot pounds on the fill plug and just fill it until the fluid starts leaking out the top. And if it's a hard, steady stream, let it leak out a little bit. I caught a little bit of it that was draining out just because I didn't want to lose all that gear oil. Then once it comes to a little bit of a slow stream, you can put it in. You're supposed to wait until it's a quarter inch below the fill plug, but it's not going to hurt anything if you put the plug in while it's draining slowly. Now that that's done, plugs are all torqued. New plug washers are in. Let's go on to the rear diff. Now on the rear diff, you're going to have a diff fluid temp sensor on your fill plug. You're going to want to unplug that real quick and just tuck that away on your sway bar. Then you're going to take a 22 mil deep socket and I got a half inch ratchet here and we're going to bust this off first. For a couple wax should come off relatively easy and you might have some fluid come out here. So make sure you got a drain pan ready. Oh. Yeah, see a little bit. Oh, and it's pretty clean too. It's not even that dirty. This fluid literally has not been changed for like 100,000 kilometers because I was young, dumb, and broke, and I just drove the shit out of this car before. I'm still young and I'm still dumb, but now I work, so I'm not as broke. Now, once you get that fill out, you're gonna take a 17 mil on the drain, crack the drain loose. Woo, whip out the big guns here. All right, let's see if we can get it off with the half inch. Oh. 
Why didn't I just start with that one? All right, let's make a mess. I'm gonna move out of the way here. I'm gonna move the camera back a bit. Move the light back. There's only a liter in this, so it shouldn't be as bad as the front. I like to angle my plugs down and let it drain a bit. And then you can release fully and it should drain. That is clean as hell. And again, on the rear diff, magnetic drain plug, make sure you clean it off. I'm gonna let that fluid drain for a bit and then we'll get the drain plug back in, fill it up with fluid and then get the fill plug back on and torque it up. All right, now that the fluid is completely drained out and your magnetic drain plug is clean, pop a new drain plug gasket on there and thread her all the way in by hand. I went and got my three eight torque wrench, so I'm gonna torque these ones to the exact number. The drain plug gets torqued to 44.3 foot pounds. Mint. And now we gotta fill her with fluid. So to fill this, I'm gonna be using this suction pump because there's no way I'm fitting the bottle in there. So I'm gonna shove the suction pump into the gear oil, suck a whole bunch of gear oil up. Again, this is the sucking pump method. Absolutely horrible way to word it. But that sucked up almost like 500 mils of fluid. So that was pretty good. You maybe get this two pumps, baby. Two and done. Okay and start pumping. You can see the fluid going through the tube into the diff. All right, there's one pump. We'll get two out of it. Oh, well, it might be three pumps today. Oh, I'm laying on my stomach to do this. This is so hard. All right, pump number two. Oh, two pumps wasn't enough either. See if I can squeeze the rest out of this bottle. All right, I got a little bit more out of it. This is like 0.9 liters because I didn't have a completely full bottle. Oh, we got to crack open another one. All right, I'm not going to suck too much out of the brand new bottle because I know we got to be almost there. This takes about one point. 0.1 liters. If we put in 0.9 there, we gotta be getting close. And this shit stinks. Are we there yet? Uh, we're right at the top. Shove my finger in there and see. Oh yeah, we're right up top. I'm gonna put a little bit more in just to be sure, make sure I get that steady flow out of there. There she is. Now we're gonna take our fill plug. Again, another new plug gasket on it. And let's get that one threaded in there too. Now you're gonna take your 22 mil deep socket again and torque up the fill plug to 44.3 foot pounds, just like the drain plug. You can take some brake clean, spray her all off in there, give her a little wipe down. And then once everything's torqued up, make sure you plug that rear diff temp sensor back in and we are done. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys out. There's probably a million other videos out there on YouTube on how to do this, but I'm trying to film every process of this build. Like I said, show you guys how to do stuff. If you guys want to learn how to do it, or even if I don't know how to do it, show you guys how I'm learning to do it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna get that first drive. She's gonna hit the dyno soon. So yeah, make sure you guys keep watching because this is, uh, it's gonna be badass if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you can tell how excited I am to drive this, but I'm pretty excited. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Just a nice quick easy maintenance video maybe it helped you guys out i don't know peace out you guys i will catch you in the next one